So my name is Lucien Fredo Silva, and I'm a faculty at the University of Mingui, Portugal. So I'm Vedan Palmoka. I come from France and India. Um, I currently work at the European Space Agency uh, in the Netherlands at uh, ESTEC. Yeah. My name is Umar. I come from Spain, from a little town next to Barcelona. And right now I'm still a student. Uh, I just finished my master's and I'm looking for a PhD position. My name is Ayush Goth. I'm from Canada and I'm a recent graduate of Megatronics Engineering. My name is Flavia fayet -Mort. I'm a nutrition scientist and I'm from Australia. Born in Brazil, raised in Canada. Uh, yes, yeah, so we are all here with one, one common passion, it's space. So this, this amazing use basically breathe space during all day, from the beginning with the lectures, but to the end, to the diet, uh, we are all together in a more social uh, timing. Mm -hmm. uh, and that's incredible. It's a, like a fast track to put yourself in space. I think what I realized being here is that this was a people program. Um, I loved connecting with everyone in this program also because we are so multicultural, um, international people from so many different backgrounds, and we all have the same passion, which is space. If you have a dream, just follow it. Uh, don't take anything for granted, like be grateful of everything you have, but also all the all the ideas are valid and you can always use whatever you want to, like what, whatever idea you have, you can use it in another way or in another one to benefit the world around you and to benefit others. And just don't be afraid and go for it. Yeah, so when I was first coming into SSP, I wasn't sure how I would fit into this program. And when I started talking with the the participants here kind of opened my eyes as to, you know, to understand that everybody is uh, experts in their own field, but that would mean that I'm also an expert in my field. And, and so it helped me understand, to figure out my place uh, at SSK and, and between the participants. And it kind of uh, helped me figure out that, you know, I have a lot to learn from others and they have a lot to learn from me as well. Um, and so that was really eye-opening for me. I've told many of the participants here how it's just so amazing to be in a group of people that are just like you. So often when you're outside, you know, SSP, you kind of have unique skills and you stand out a bit. But here, we're all the same. And it's just so nice to be among people that are just like you, like as nerdy, as adventurous, you know, no judgment. We're all kind of the same. So it's kind of like you found your people that are like you and you can just be truly you. There are many types of different uh, events, right? So from distinguished lectures that gives you that opportunity to be close to uh, some people that you never imagined knowing, like astronauts and take photos with them. It's amazing, right? Um, but then you are, your workshops is very specific for your department. So rocket launches or balloon launches or doing an EVA, like a kind of a simulated EVA. But still, you are going to the swimming pool with your gear, a swimming gear and diving gear. So it's amazing and experience that. Um, and go through that, but with a with a kind of a, a briefing before understanding that this is a simulation for what will happen real for an astronaut training course. It's, it's, it's amazing for sure. that everything uh, we do, it may be sports, may it be our personal life, may it be uh, professional. Everything is linked to how you're able to associate yourself in front of different people, how you maintain relationships. I think that is the key um, um, outcome that I got out of this program, is how the, the way you behave with people and the way people perceive you 
um, is very important to the kind of future you're going to have, uh, maybe in your professional background, but also in your personal uh, space. And I felt that this is something maybe I didn't value as much before. And I felt that people, though, are crucial to my life. And sometimes I maybe did not pay uh, or give as much attention to people as I'm supposed to. Mm. Um, and this is something that I really learned here. And uh, I feel like it's something that is like an eye-opening event for myself. So before going here, I didn't have any expectations of how it would look like, like the program itself. Of course, I talked to people who already did it. So I had like an idea of what what we would be doing. You know, I know that we'll be doing classes and that would meet new people, but I didn't expect it to be as good as it is. Like, it's been amazing and I really recommend it to anyone who wants to engage in such an adventure. So I was in the engineering department mm -hmm. and during one of the activities there was to uh, do an EVA emission training simulation mm -hmm. uh, with the HPS department. And my role was to come up with the mission and uh, develop that mission and uh, you know, come up with all the different, uh, uh, different challenges that the, uh, the, uh, the aquanauts had to work on. Um, and so something like that was, was something that was come out of, outside of my comfort zone. And so you know, kind of taking charge on that and working on that was very exciting. And I think it kind of transformed my personality a little bit, which was really cool. Um, but overall, I think just the conversations that I get to have with people like just at lunch or just even like on our walks back from the core lecture phase, like during the core lectures, we would always walk back from the campus to uh, the hotel. And so on the way back, you know, each time I usually talk with somebody else or meet with somebody else and you just have conversations during that time. You get to know a lot about people and, and their their outlook on life. And so it's, it's, it is very, uh, it's a very interesting and positive experience for me to learn about that. Mm -hmm.